G'day and welcome to Ducks or Gaming and a new Let's Play series on Great Western Farms. So as you can see we're, uh, we're at the farm and uh, we're going to have a bit of a, a fun play series on this one. This one is not Seasons. Um, it is not going to be real serious gameplay, although we are going to do it slightly more realistic in the fact that we're not going to cheat any more any money in. Um, we've already got enough money there, we've, we've swapped out all our gear got the gear in that we like and uh, we're going to continue on and we're just going to see how we go. Alright, so I've had a bit of a play around with the map. Um, I'm not going to do a, an actual map tour per se at the start of this, we're just going to get stuck into some work straight away. Um, Farmer Klein has just recently done a map review of this and uh, and I will let, uh, let him describe that much better than what I do. So I'll put a link into his video down below in the comments so you can go check that out when you so wish to. Alright, so let's get into it. <clears throat> so what have we got on the farm? We've got, let's pull up the map, we have got, let's uh, come across to here, we've got a number of fields that we own, we own fields 3, 5, um, is 3 and 5 all we got? And 2, 2, 3 and 5. I think that was it. Then we also own the grass fields being grass 1 over here, grass 2, grass 3, and we also own field 11 and 12 down the bottom here. Okay, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fields plus 3 grass fields to get us going, um, which will be fine. As I said, we don't have uh, the season mod running. Um, what else have we got running? So let's go in here and have a look. We got a fast plant growth, plant withering is off, no periodic plowing required, fertilizer state of one. Um, so this is just basically a back to vanilla and, and just get started and just have a bit of fun. So um, we might do a bit of weird stuff, but uh, we're just certainly gonna try and maximize our, our money making and get going. Now we've got a bit of, uh, we're on hard mode. We've got a bit of um, supplies already stored up. Um, of various uh, various uh, products and stuff, so we've got that to utilise. Um, sorry, I know we've also got a number of animals to start. We've got ten pigs, ten sheep, and ten cows. Now, um, what we might do straight away is we might just sell off the pigs and the cows, and we might just concentrate on the sheep for the moment, which is exactly what we'll do now. So what we'll do is we'll go to the map. Go to the cell point for the animals down here and we'll just get rid of those cows so the cows uh, cell 10 confirm that be real on the cell yes pigs and we're going to sell those confirm yes okay so there we go so we've sold the animals so now what we should have is just our 10 sheep which we do. Now we made, what did we make? 28,000 there. So what we'll do is we'll go and buy around 30,000 worth of sheep. There we go, 10 more sheep. So that's what we've done. So we've sold off the pigs and the cows and we've bought an equal number of sheep to the same value. All right, uh, before we go much further, we'll have a quick look at what equipment we're going to use as our starting equipment into the garage. So, like I said, we, we got rid of most of the starting stuff. Um, however, we've kept the manor tower with the uh, bale fork and the pallet fork. We've kept the lever and its shovel. Um, so we have a set of pottingers, front mower and, and butterfly mower. We have an HS16 uh, um, header for our um, combine. We have, a as part of the... The map, we've got a big baler 1290 from New Holland. We have a Ponzi Scorpion King. We have a couple of um, pressure washers. We've bought the AR service pack module so we can service, so we can refuel, reseed, re-fertilize uh, equipment out in the field if we need to. We have the modded New Holland combine harvester from Stevie. Um, we love that one. So it's got a 60,000 liter capacity and it runs at about 20 kilometers an hour with its own header so it's very good 
We have our customized Kenworth K100 Aerodyne from Rockhound Mods. We have our customized Duck Zoily Big M, uh, which was customized for us by Eustace Farmer with our extended hitch. We have a case um, Magnum CVX, which is in, uh, I think they call it the anniversary livery or something like that. We have our favorite tractors, our Duck Zoily Plus Zerions our chips 5000s we have a couple of horse fertilizer spreaders a couple of john john deere flex disc plows we have a chrome uh, tipper a penta D db 50 tipper we have some of the custom road train pack um, trailers out of from gtx mods we have our logging trailer our flatbed trailer and our bulk liquid transport trailer got a couple of dollars just in case we need to use them behind a um, tractor for some reason we have our manure spreader, our Stortman, and we have a couple of Horsch uh, Pronto 15mm um, sewing machines or sewers, cedars. All right, one thing I've noticed I haven't bought as yet is um, haven't bought all the wagons I'm not worried about at the moment because I don't think I'm going to need them, but I haven't bought a loading wagon. And I didn't mean to. So that's going to take us down to 50 odd thousand. So um, we might just leave that for now. We're not going to do any, any harvesting at the moment because we've got nothing ready to go. All right, that's it. So let's go. Let's get into it nice and quick. So at the moment, we need to uh, plough and sow our fields. So what we'll do straight away is we've, we've actually already started just to sort of get a, um, a grip, come to grips grip with the map and stuff like that. So field three, we've already ploughed. Uh, it does need to be fertilised, it does need to be uh, um, sown, so what we'll do is we'll go and uh, we'll get that one started. So this is our Magnum CVX, it's in uh, special livery apparently, right, as we drive into the door. What we'll do is we'll go head over here, we'll grab our Horsch Cedars and uh, we'll load them up with seed and fertiliser. And we'll head over to field three and we'll put him on uh, AI and get that going. Now there's a bit of a mess over here in this uh, in this shed or this uh, cover area. Didn't lay it out very well, did I? Right. What we might be best to do is just reverse him out. Take us without taking any equipment out. Okay. All right, so our priority is going to be actually getting the biogas up and produce and producing our own seed um, and all that sort of good stuff. Now, I haven't located the 2017 Seed Master yet. Um, I'm sure there's one here somewhere, so I'll have to locate that. In the interim, we're just going to buy our fertilizer and our seed and get cracking on field three. Come up here, grab our seed, and we'll get our fertilizer, and then we'll just send him straight over and get him going. Okay. Now, obviously, the advantage of going back to this and not doing seasons, um, being on fast growth, it'll only be a couple of days in between uh, crops being ready, so um, we'll be able to basically crack straight into it, and we'll be we'll be quite busy. Um, what are we going to do as a goal? Well, I think what we might do is we might just aim to let's set a let's set a goal of a twenty million dollar cash uh, goal. So once we get to twenty million, that's our that's our goal, and we'll just see what we go where we go from there. But uh, I think that's um, something to aim for. So we'll just send him off. Right there, we go. He's happy as Larry. So what we're now going to do is we'll run back over here, grab our other one of our Zerions, and we'll get the, the plow, the John Deere, and we'll um, head over to one of the fields and get them going on one of the fields. There we go. So we've got the, the Black Beauty version. The twin wheels, twin narrow wheels. Not that they're really that narrow, but uh, they act as the twin narrow wheels so we uh, don't damage our crops. Alright, let's have a look where we're going. Now, I'm not 100% uh, with the map as yet. 
to actually let's go we'll go and manually do field two we'll go through the shed we'll go and manually play our field two and then uh, we'll probably send this guy down down south to field uh, 11 and 12 to do those Just slipping down the mud. Alright. Lovely looking map. Uh, we'll get all the details of the map maker and where you can get the map and all that in a second. Um, the name Chris Kimball. Uh, Chris Kimball Modding um, produced this map. Um, I think that was right. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll get all the details and I'll put them down below in the comments. Um, but not a bad looking map. And it's got some a lovely waterfall over there, which we'll have a look at a little bit later. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to uh, get stuck into this field here. So we'll get rid of that. Don't need that. Unfold. Right, let's go. Easy to four-wheel drive. So. Yeah, so starting a new map, just something a bit different. I was finding that um, I was getting down or anything with uh, playing the seasons mod, but it was just uh, it was not a, not even a chore, but it was it was work. You had to work at it, and, and not that I'm stopping with them. I've still got uh, a couple of episodes for Beaver Creek coming out, and I've got some more episodes of Sherwood Park Farm, which are uh, currently uploading. But uh, just to break it up just a little bit, just something a little bit more fun. And not so serious um, this one so I'm going to do two series like this I'm going to do this one here which is going to be sort of like a um, career mode I suppose so we're we've, we've got our money and we're, we've got our equipment now so anything now we want to buy uh, there's no cheating of money in and um, we need to uh, we need to um, as I noticed that uh, it's plowing everywhere at the moment which is well, it was. Maybe it was just me. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, this is basically going to be treated like a career mode, effectively. The other one I'm going to do, which is on, uh, I actually won't give it away as yet because I haven't started it yet. Um, that one there won't be career mode, and it will just be a total muck about. So I'll probably get some of the um, some of the bigger mods, the more ridiculous mods. I'll even get some of the mods that I don't like um, and and perhaps oh, actually probably not because I don't really want to offend any modders out there but um, there are some terrible mods out there uh, yeah so we'll, we'll just have a, a bit of a muck about map um, and that one won't be sort of like an every every week necessarily it'll just be when I need a bit of a break and a bit of a laugh I'll I'll pull that one out and, and do an episode on that so that would be the plan for that Okay, so it won't take as long to uh, to plow this field up. So then, what we've got to do is just go wait for the grass to grow a little bit, a little bit, and then uh, our next priority will be to grab a whole pile of grass and get it to the biogas and get the biogas running, so we can produce our um, our uh, dry fertilizer. Um, what are we producing? Dry fertilizer. Um, well, to gestate first off, and then then making dry fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and fuel, biofuel. So uh, all those sort of things will will cut down our operating costs significantly. Um, and noting there is so much grass on this uh, on this map, and the fact that we already have three fields with grass on them, um, it means we should be able to be virtually cost neutral um, very quickly. So that, that's the goal. All right, just one or two more passes here. Yeah, lovely looking map, this one. And there you can see there. You can just see the waterfall over there coming down the escarpment. So uh, I think we've got to go down that way basically to get to uh, the next couple of fields. So um, we'll have a bit of a look-see. I did note that uh, Farmer Klein stopped there with his, uh, what well, was he using his gator um, in his map tour. So uh, yeah, it does look very nice. 
All right, there we go. I'll plot the map again. Which way are we going? Yeah, we can basically go down that way, I think. Let's go have a look. We'll leave the map up just so we don't get entirely lost. Now, I don't think there's any traffic on this uh, on this map. Um, Farmer Klein will probably chime in and let me know if, if I'm incorrect. But I'm pretty sure he, he did say there was no there was no traffic on this map. So um, yeah. But anyway, going over here, you'll get a bit of a tour. So what have we got over in there? We've got the uh, the sheep over there to our right. And this is awfully bad because I'm not looking. There's a gold nugget in there. Oh, over here on the bridge. Oh, are we going to fit? Oh, yeah, just. So in here we have our biogas, obviously. So we've got uh, some storage pits there. We've got greenhouses. We've got our compost production there. We've got our production there from our digestate, as I said, our liquid, fer uh, sorry, dry fertilizer. Um, no, actually that's a manure one, isn't it? That's a manure separator. So that one we, uh, yep, that's a bit different. But anyway, we'll come back to that one. And here we have the waterfall. Again, uh, it's going to be tight. Is it not going to let me through? Oh, dang you. All right, anyway, let's get rid of the map. There's the waterfall. Looks pretty cool. Now we'll go back the other way because we can't get through there. These are production areas. We'll come back and revisit those uh, the next episode or so and uh, do that. But yeah, that one there we put in straw and... Was it straw or manure? I can't remember. See... I'm old, old age, gets you every time. Can't remember, I was only just using it today on Sherwood Park Farm. But anyway, doesn't matter. Alright, what we'll do is we'll head down, back out here to the main road and we'll take the main road down. <clears throat> so there's the shop. John Deere. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. But uh, it's not as if we'll be buying any John Deere from them anytime soon. The only John Deere stuff I ever seem to use is this uh, is this plough. So uh, there's no worries about me taking anything else from that. And we'll just take the quiet route from inside the cab. Now, Farmer Klein, I put the steering wheel back where it should be, haven't I? In joke. Farmer Klein was. I always sort of had a bit of a laugh that uh, when I jump in some of my smaller tractors, I don't adjust the steering wheel to the uh, to the correct position. So uh, I sit there with elongated arms and steering. But anyway, not bad scenery-wise in this map. There is plenty of forestry. There is absolute glut of trees uh, in the forestry areas. Um, so we'll probably do a little bit of logging just for the, for the sake of a couple of different mods I want to try out actually for the logging. So um, we'll see how that goes. Actually, I lied. That, where we were before wasn't the biogas. Sorry, that was um, Jacob's produce. So it wasn't the greenhouses there at all. It was the greenhouses, duh. Um, but it wasn't the biogas. The biogas is off here to our uh, our left. So um, I told you, I'm only, only just learning the map. All right, now this is one of the maps, one of the fields, I mean, where um, running AI isn't really going to work that well. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how course play responds as well. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll quickly plow this one ourselves as well. Or at least what we might do is do a couple of header rows and do that little section there and then leave the, uh, the rest to the AI where he can sort it out himself pretty much. That knoll there with the with the, all the trees up there. So it could be could be some fun doing a bit of logging. Not that I've done a lot. In fact, I don't think I've done any as such yet on camera, have I? Can't remember. I don't think I have. I know it's only recently that I've started actually doing it at all. Um, 
basically, I think, pretty much guaranteed my first 1,800 hours in farming simulator I did. Um, I think I worked it out. I went through the thing and I'd done about 30 logs. I'd cut them all manually. It's only because I planted trees by mistake when I didn't want them in a field um, when I first started. So uh, it's not been one for the logging. But anyway, here's what it is. So there's the VGA. So over there we have the production facility that we put the uh, digestate in and it gives us our liquid fertiliser, dry fertiliser and our biofuel. The other one over there is for... Just trying to think. Ah, oh, that's right. Silly, silly me. Liquid manure. So we put our liquid manure from our animals into there along with straw and it will then output um, dry fertiliser and liquid fertiliser. Does it do fuel as well? I think it might. can't remember. But yes, that's, that's for the liquid manure. So that's all right. So yes, that's all over in there. We had a couple of silage plant pits, four of them. But as Farmer Klein said in his video, which um, I'm sure you'll all check out, there's um, a huge amount of room in that, in that biogas facility. Ample room for lots of production stuff if you so deemed it necessary. And here we have McDonald's. Now, you can sell some stuff from McDonald's. I'm not sure what it was. Haven't looked at that yet. But uh, we may look at that sometime later on. All right. Let's have a look on the map and see if... Uh, our hired hand, he's about halfway through field three. He's doing okay. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll just sort of straighten this bit out. And then we'll see if we can get the AI worker to uh, finish it off. Well, there's probably not much point. We might as well finish it off and then uh, do 12 ourselves as well. But why not? Let's just do it. That can be this episode. We'll just plough these, these fields and then we're, um, that'll be pretty much enough for the episode, I think. So let me know in the comments if you want to see me do some logging. Um, I really am. I've, I've come to grips, I suppose, with the with the Scorpion King now. It's not so bad, um, but uh, but yeah, it can be a bit funny with um, seeing me throw the Ponzi all the way over between the trees because um, I send the jib one way when it's meant to go the other. But, uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you would like to do that. And if there's anything else you'd like to see on this map in relation to what you'd like to see me plant, and no, Farmer Klein, I'm not planting potatoes in every field, or sugar beets, or sugar cane, um, just uh, just let me know so uh, we can have a bit of an interactive map in that regard. So what we'll do is, like I said, we'll, we'll maintain just sheep for the moment um, until we get a good... Uh, A good amount of money up what we might do is settle be our goal so we're going to we're going to work to 20 million and that's our that's our ultimate goal once we get to one million dollars in the bank we will spend five hundred thousand of that um, on cows so we'll buy five hundred thousand worth of cows and at the same time we'll buy two hundred fifty thousand worth of sheep um, at that stage then that will give us um, a lot of animals to deal with and then by the, by the time we get to that point we should have uh, stockpiled a fair bit of um, a fair bit of our crop outputs so we should be right to go um, I will start producing TMR as we bring the crops in I'll start uh, getting the TMR mixer which is over at the cow area which I'll show you in an upcoming episode um, we will get that started so we've got TMR produced ready to go as well Yes, this should be good fun. Certainly, um, be interested to see how quickly we can uh, get things ramped up. Now, after this first episode, I will be putting the the time scale. Time scale will basically be flexible. I'm not going to hold myself to any particular time scale. 
Um, I will go up to say five or 15 uh, when there's not much going on or I'm waiting for a bit of a transition with a field or something. Um, but in general gameplay, I think most time I'll just play on the five times um, time scale. So that will be the plan for that. And again, any purchases we need to do, like for instance, uh, we haven't got a potato harvester or a beet harvester. And no, I'm not going to use the really small ones. Um, if we want to do those crops, then we've got to basically earn the money to, uh, to buy those. Um, now at the moment, my equipment of choice is the grimy. I've got a modded grimy, which is about $70,000, and the ropers. Um, which I've done a mod review on not long ago, uh, which if I remember, I'll put a link in about now, so you can go and uh, have a look at that. But, uh, but yeah, they're my preferred units, but they're about 350,000 or something. So we won't be getting them straight away. Um, additionally, like for this series, and then the, the other series we're gonna start up as well shortly, if you have a mod and you want me to try it out and use it, um, more than happy to do so. Uh, obviously, I have the ultimate say in it, and if it's a mod that, uh, that uh, is going to give me the year it's or that doesn't work very well, then don't be surprised if you don't see it. Um, and yes, FK, that means that class mower is not going to be ever seen again. Um, so yeah, just let me know down below in the comments and or message me on Discord and uh, and let me know what it is and I'll hunt it down and and we'll we'll see if we can use it, get any use out of it. And that that include includes some of the sublime and and stupid stuff as well. Um, so feel free to uh, to let me know what's out there and what you want to see me use. All about the interaction as best I can, um, although it is very hard interacting to a degree when you're unable to stream. But uh, unfortunately, I'm at the behest of our ISPs here, and it'll be some time before I get uh, connection with anything greater than two megabits, which means that I'll be able to stream. Um, basically, we're talking about 18 months, two years at this stage. Bastards. All right, so I finish that area now, so just go down and do this little area down below. And then we'll be uh, all good to go. Sorry for the wet the whistle. Lowering back down again. And that will bring us basically to our uh, 30 minute mark. So uh, we'll start signing off now. Um, I certainly hope you've enjoyed this look or the start of a new series. Um, I think this will be a fun map to, uh, to get to know and to use. Uh, Great Western Farm by uh, Chris... Oh, geez, I'm going to stuff it up. Chris Kimball, was it? <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I will rectify that for the next episode. Um, but, yeah, it's, it looks like this should be some good fun. So uh, we'll certainly see if we can get some enjoyment out of it. So... Uh, don't forget to uh, check out the wonderful communities I'm a part of, being the Three Dudes Gaming Network, where you can uh, catch up and talk with the likes of Jerry, aka Grizzly Bear Sims, uh, my good friend Eustace Farmer, and Farmer Klein, the maker of such awesome uh, map videos, map introduction videos. So, uh, so check them out, and also check out the, the groups and the forums over at PCSG. Uh, the links to both of those communities are down below in the comments. All right. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll keep heading back up the farm with this. We'll drop it off, and uh, what we'll do in the meantime is we'll um, we'll sign off with the sign off graphics. And uh, until next time, when we see you at Great Western, this is Duxley Duxley Gaming, wishing you a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. And we'll see you all again soon. Thanks. Bye.